All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna find out the difference between the Milwaukee M12 fuel impact driver versus the DeWalt 12 volt extreme impact driver. Now, I already did this video in the past, so I'll put it right here. But now we have a five amp hour battery for the DeWalt, and we also got the six amp hour battery for the Milwaukee. So let's find out what the difference between these tools are with the new batteries. All right, so first the DeWalt, it is a 12 volt tool. It is the impact driver. I love the design. I love the comfortness of the handle. This is model number DCF801. Uh, it has three speed, uh, three speed settings. It has precision, low and high, or I think that's self tapping zero to 2850 RPM. And this is uh, the max is 3600 impacts per minute. I'll put the torque in right now. 12 volt tool, five amp hour battery. The battery is full. I'm actually curious on what this is going to do. And this channel loves 12 volt tools. I, 12 volt tools is my favorite line of tools. And so that is the DeWalt. All right, for the Milwaukee, when it comes to the handle, I personally think I, I do not like them 12 handles. They're, they're thick, they're big for the size of the tool. Just, it's my personal preference to have a thinner handle. And so yeah, this is actually, this feels thicker than Ryobi's handle. I say that in most of my uh, Milwaukee M12 videos. But yeah, this is model number 2553-20, 12 volt system. This has four speed modes, self-tapping, one, two, and three. We will be using speed three on this. All right, so on the highest uh, speed is zero to 3,300 RPM, and uh, uh, impacts per minute is zero to 4,000 RPM, and that is 250 RPMs more than the DeWalt and 400 impacts per minute more than the DeWalt. And so, yeah, so... Uh, this is, this is the most powerful 12 volt impact driver on the market, but with the new battery, we will see. We'll see what this does. The 12 volt, the M12 has a six amp hour battery. You can tell with the battery life indicator on the side of the tool when you tap the trigger, battery is full. All right, so let's see what these can do against each other. All right, so first we're gonna do the, to the DeWalt, one last battery check. We'll check it at the end of the video. It's on high speed. First, we are going to do a uh, six inch specs. Let's see on how well this actually does. It is the Colic Quick Insert. Yes, it is the Colic is Quick Insert. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time. Now that uh, I, that did seem slow. It, that did seem very slow. I'm actually disappointed about that. But let's see on how well the Milwaukee does. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do not know the test results until I edit the video. All right, so let's take DeWalt's out. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, Milwaukee is next. All right, so ready, go. Time. I think the uh, Milwaukee got that one. I think the Milwaukee got that one. All right, so now let's, let's do an eight inch timber lock. Go to a different part of the map. Do it right here. And we'll do the Milwaukee right next to it. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do the Milwaukee next. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's take out the DeWalt's. All right, ready, go. Next, let's do the Milwaukee. Ready, ready, go. 
time. All right, let's increase the intensity of the test. All right, so we're gonna do one four inch each and one six inch each. Let's see what these can do against each other. All right, so first we're gonna do the uh, DeWalt first. Battery is still full. All right, so, ready, go. I think that's it. Yes, it is. See, like you guys got to admit that 12 volt tools driving in four inch lags, you know, with ease, you know, it's it's incredible how, how, how powerful these tools actually are. That's why I love 12 volt tools because they're able to do this stuff with ease being a 12 volt tool. All right, so the battery is still full on the Milwaukee. Let's do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's take out the DeWalt's. All right, so ready, go. Time. Does it like nothing. Both of these tools do it like nothing. All right, so ready, go. Time. Yeah, I could definitely tell that the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee got that one. Sorry, it was, it was out. The Milwaukee got that one like nothing, I feel. All right, so next let's do a one six inch lag each for the, for the final battle. Right here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's split. All right, let's go up a little bit, too close to the edge that was. All right, let's do it again. Ready, go. That's it. Tad bit time. All right, now let's do the Milwaukee. All right, so ready, go. I feel, yep, did it. Now, that did seem like it took a bit longer than the DeWalt, but I don't know until I edit the video, but I will say this, that holding this in that position, uh, the DeWalt is a far more comfortable because I don't need to wrap my, ha my hand around it as much, so I don't, I don't need to twist my wrist. Yeah, uh, this, uh, sorry Milwaukee fans, but this handle is just, it's too much. That handle's way too thick, I love how uh how skinnier the handle is on the DeWalt's and comfort is a big part of like people using tools all right so ready go all right now i do want to do a temperature reading but it's a little unfair because the DeWalt did one more lag all right, most of it's 86, 86 degrees for the DeWalt. As it is on speed three, just so you guys know, it is. All right, ready, go.
time. Let's do a quick temperature reading on the Milwaukee. 92, 96 degrees for the Milwaukee. Wow. So the DeWalt, with even doing one more six inch lag, it's still operated a little bit cooler than the uh, Milwaukee did. Yeah, so the, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but as you guys can see, these two actually are, are the, both of these are actually very powerful tools. And that's why I love 12 volt tools, because tools like these have the power to drive in six inch lags. That's insane. You guys got to, got to admit that is absolutely insane that 12 volt tools are doing this task. But when it comes to the 12 volt impact, impact driver between these two, I'd still go for the DeWalt. So as you can see, I showed you the difference between these two with better batteries. And so yeah, so that's pretty much it you guys. I seriously hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.